Let's play the game one more time. Can you guess which is which? Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I'll be comparing Creative D Print, the older version 4.3.8 is the current version I have, compared to their newer version in beta, which is Creative D Print version 5. Let's scratch to this comparison. Okay, so if you haven't yet seen my video of Creative D Print version 5.0, I'll leave a link right here so you can go check it out or in the description. Everything I mentioned in this video will be in the description. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't know, I recently created a Discord channel. So if you want to interact with me, the community want to share what you're working on mods you have been making to your 3d printers or if you need help join the discord we have a really good community in there okay so creality print they say that the version 5 they fix a lot of stuff they also added so many features so what did i do did i print a benji not quite exactly i did not print a benji they say that on the wall on the urban hang and overall just improving quality that might not be true so what did i do i print these two overhang pieces from Creality Print version 5.0. They have this built right into their slicer, which is nice. So right now, can you guess which one is which? Leave a comment down below. Which one is which? This one or this one? Take a look at the back. Which one do you think is the version 5? And which one do you think is the version 4.3.8? If you say that this is the version 5, you are wrong. This is not the version 5. I am so surprised by this. Look at this. Voila. This one is the version 4.3.8. This one is the version 5. After I was done printing these two, I was like, what? Are you kidding me? They say that they improve overhang. They improve the wall on the overhang and overall print quality, but their older version is still so much better. And here I'll explain how I printed these two on Creality Print. The old Creality Print, this is the version 4.3.8. And what I'm doing is I'm using their normal one. So this is normal default from Creality. I'm not changing any setting. I'm not doing anything. All I do is just load in the model, click slice, and print. That is it. And I'll be doing the same thing for Creality Print 5.0. And over here is Creality Print 5.0, the newest, latest version from Creality. It's still in beta, but same thing. I'll be using Creality Point 2 mm standard default configuration, same thing. No change on the setting, load in the model, and then just click print. You can get this model by going up here to file, test model, and then this complex model. I don't know why it's called complex. It should have called overhang test or something like that, but that's what I'm using for Creality Print 5.0. So we can actually compare both of these right now. So for the 5.0, it actually used a little bit more materials, but the printing time is less. On the Creative 4.3, it uses less material, but the printing time is more. And we can see here the structure type. Inner wall takes about three minutes, three minutes, four minutes, four minutes, but it reduces by a couple of seconds and those seconds actually matter into the overall printing time. But this is just a preview we will look at what is the actual printing time after these two has been printed. So let's go ahead and print out these two pieces. I just loaded these in, no editing and the setting. It was so crazy how these turns out. The version four actually has a lot better overhang than the version five. Did Creality lie to us? But here, let's check the first layer. So this is the version 5. You can almost actually read what it says there. It says overhang test. And on the version 4, you can't really see that because for whatever reason, the first layer is like all squished together. Creative Print version 5 is actually a lot better than the version 4. I'm just going to call it version 4.3. It looks like the top layer here, the version 5 is actually a lot better than the version 4.3. This side right here, they are really, really similar. I also printed these two test tower, which has everything, retraction, overhang, tolerance, long overhang like this, and then like a circle piece here, overhang on the bottom here, overhang right here, and these two pieces turns out like this. Let's play the game one more time. Can you guess which is which? This one or this one? Which one is Creality Print 5.0 and which one is Creality Print 4.3.8 if you say that this is 4.3 you're wrong man 
this is 4.3 for whatever in the world reason creality prints 4.3 does so much better with overhangs look at that that right there is a 90 degree overhang which is has nothing at the bottom to support and look at this this is the version 5 and I wrote it right here just to not get mixed up or anything version 4.3.8 let's take a look at the version 5 for now so the tolerance for all of them did break off very easily with no minimum ever as soon as I print them I just pull this off and all of this actually came off this is ranged from 0 0.8 to 0 0.2 so all the way to 0 0.2 the cable max or create print 5.0 it can actually do really nicely so this piece will stick in there so this was printed like this if you print this before you know exactly how this works this is the first time i actually did this but look at this 0 0.2 millimeters it fits so smoothly the tolerance on the cable max is just great it doesn't really matter which slicer i use orca slicer Creative print. I even try Kira Slicer and it actually works really nice. Point 0.3 fits very easily. Of course, if this fits point 0.2, it's gonna fit everything. Let's take a look at the retraction there. So it has a little teeny tiny bit of um stringy. And, well, and by the way, the filament I use is from JL and I did dry the filament while printing using fixed dry filament dry. If you are interested in this, I'll leave a link down below. This is a really amazing filament dry. It can hold up to two spool. And yeah, I was drying the filament while printing it, so giving it the best performance I can. The circle here actually looks pretty decent in my opinion. But the overhang, it's not just the other one, it's the same thing here. Overhang here is very very bad on Creality Print 5.0. The overhang here is actually pretty decent. And then the side here, it looks pretty nice, look at that. Let's look at this bridging right here. So it looks like, so the very top layer almost touches the next layer and it repeats from there. Oh and by the way, if you cannot see that it's right there, this is like just some embossed text at the red top and it turns out really nicely okay now let's take a look at the 4.3.8 qrd print the tolerance these two are the only one that came off easily i'm sorry it's 0 0.6 not 0 0.8 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 okay 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 came off for the 0 0.5 did not but it, yeah i can just break it yeah came off very easily let's see if i can do the 0 0.3 easy okay yep yep what about the point 0.2 let's see Oh no no gotta do some force. Push it on the bottom. It's stuck. Can this break free? Um Nope, looks like it cannot break free. Okay, so it cannot break from point two on Creality Print 4.3.8 version. But the overhang, look at this. The overhang is almost perfect. A 90 degree overhang right here and only three lines that did not make it at the very top. This side looks greater and look at this, the step up right here looks amazing compared to the version 5. It already failed at the bottom here, like what? And look at this, this overhang right here, it looks really nice. It doesn't really look nice at the top but this is still nice, it's still stick really pretty right there. Over here is perfect. So the bridging, wow, the bridging is actually so much better than the version 5 too. You can see that over here has a huge gap compared to the version 5. And here's the side-by-side -side comparison for your references. The circle actually prints really nicely too. The top layer here actually prints nice too. And these embossed things are really nice. Wow, this is very surprised. And for the tolerance here, it actually is transferable from this piece right here because like this, you can't really read what the text says and it's all squished up together. And it kind of relates to this tolerance right here. And the stringing, there's the same amount of stringing on both of them. And yeah, this is only a small part of me testing Creative Print 5.0. And I just want to say that I'm already kind of disappointed in Creative Print 5.0. All the change notes that they say is really amazing but the print quality compared to their old one oh, it's so bad if it's the same quality or a little bit it's, if it's not this bad right i would give it like a chance they saying that it's in beta but since they already had this good of a default 
setting on their old version, why in the world would a newer version of that older version be this bad? If we look closer on this side right here, you can see that this is the version 4.3. You can see that the layer line is actually a lot worse than this right here. The version 5 has more of a smoother finish and more layer is more consistent. And they did say this and that is true. But for the overhang and everything else, it's not true at all. At least of the time of recording right now and at the time of their beta version right now, the overhang is very bad. Well, yeah, that is it for this video of me testing Creative Premiere 5.0 on their test of everything. Retraction, overhang, bridging, um, more bridging, circle, tolerance, and top layer, bottom layer, and all of that. Embossed text and all of that stuff into one model here. That is it with this video and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. More of these stuff is coming very soon. Leave a like on this video if you think that Creative Print 5.0 is worse than their older version. And let me know in the comments down below if you want me to add Orca Slicer into this battle of Slicer to compare their print quality and everything along those lines. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, keep on 3D printing.